Chicago plans to eliminate the tips as wage system. That means restaurants will be forced to pay minim workers minimum wage even if they get tips. John Taffer is back. He's the restaurant guy. He joins me now. Hey, John, what does this do to the restaurant business in Chicago and other places that do the same thing? Yeah, good to see you, Stuart. You know, this this is the continuing compression on us all. You know, if I look at the UAW strike, the medical strike right now, both talk about the impact of inflation beating their income levels, and the cost of inflation is causing them to take a different approach with yeah. their employers. And we're seeing in the restaurant business, I get it. The employees are being killed by governmental policies. They need greater income. The restaurants are getting killed on a cost side with product costs, Stuart, as we just saw with chicken and french fries as examples we're getting crunched on the energy side we're getting crunched on the labor side so i get it restaurants are struggling and we're trying to find the dollars to pass through to keep our teams intact so i don't argue with anyone's posture in this but this is the result of governmental policies and the inflationary impact on all of our businesses now, here, john here's something else that might be a hit on bars and restaurants we're seeing more workers skip out on happy hour. They head straight home after work. That's another hit on you guys, isn't it? Of course it is, Stuart. And then we look at it a lot of Gen Zs are not consuming uh, products at the level that we used to. So all of these are compressionary impact on the business. And we're all all just trying to pay our employees well, provide the quality experience that we want to. And Stuart, it, it, it's, it's a battle to accomplish sure. that in today's environment. And it all goes back to the governmental policies that are putting this pressure on us all. Now, to relieve the pressure, I see there's been a steady increase in extra fees added to restaurant bills. The restaurant folks say, that, yeah, we've got to keep up with inflation, add it to the bill. Is this the new normal, and how's the public reacting to it? Well, you know, Stuart, as, as an industry spokesperson, we got to find the money somewhere or we can't continue to operate. I mean, our margins are being crushed by all of these uh, uh, inflationary factors. Some restaurants are just raising menu prices. Other restaurants are saying, I'd rather not raise the menu price. I'd rather put an extra charge on because I can eliminate that charge if the inflation you know, reverses itself to some level. So people are taking different approaches. But again, Stuart, we're fighting for the dollars we need to, to survive in this a uh, uh, compression that we're all living in as operators. Yeah, uh, I hate to see guys go out of business, but I presume that if you do go out, you're probably one of the smaller guys, not the chains, that they can yeah. manage this, I guess, but the smaller guys that are going out. Is that accurate? Is that what's happening? Yes, it is, Stuart. You know, that, that's why uh, SkyTab and I did the rescue mission program. Yeah. We, we wanted to find two operators. We wanted to give them $20,000, a complete SkyTab business management POS, system and then consulting time with me and we're using this as case studies is what can an independent business do with a few dollars a great POS and accounting system and some good knowledge from a consultant like Taffer can we reverse and change their business model so we're very excited about helping the, these bars do it and Park Supper Club in Chicago one you were just talking about yep. Chicago and, and Ralph Sports Bar in Staten Island one so we're, we're really excited about this do it it also gives me an opportunity to dive into to the economics that we're talking about and really find corrective strategies to create a better business model in this, what I'm going to call, compressed environment that we're living in. What, uh, what was so special about the two restaurants that won? You know, Stuart, we wanted to choose people who uh, 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 had part of their communities. You know, Ralph is owned by a vet very, very active in his community, supporting vets and stuff. The owner of Park Supper Club is in the middle of the Chicago community uh, uh, and is very, very active in supporting her local community. So both had a certain community spirit to them that said they should continue. They should continue to be part of the communities that they're in, as most bars should. Yep, good for you. John Taffer, always a pleasure. Don't be a stranger. Come back and tell us how the food business is going on. Come back soon. Will do. I miss you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon, John. You're a good man. Thank you.